We're here at Coin Summit with Vitalik Buterin, creator of Ethereum. So, um, Vitalik, what brought you to uh, Coin Summit? Yeah, well, I've been traveling through all these uh, different conferences for pretty much the past nine months. Like, I've been uh, ever since I dropped out of universe, university in April to work on stuff full time. I've pretty much been traveling or traveling around. I went to the London event, the Am Amsterdam one, the um, Las Las Vegas, Miami, Texas, and out here. I just Really like talk, like really talking to all the kind of people you see in the cryptocurrency scene. Cool. So basically, you spend most of your time pitching Ethereum, do you think, and explaining what it is and how it yeah. works, and yeah, it's end up doing that a lot. I mean, I'm, I am also also work actually working on the protocol, but yeah, yeah <laughs> that's uh, sometimes hard to keep up when you've got events fly, like flying once a, once every week. Right, right. Yeah. So what are the what do you see as like the biggest problems with the adoption of Ethereum? Do you think uh, just getting people to understand how it works or Yeah, I mean, in the long in the long term, uh, I don't think people think about Ethereum that much, sort of in the same way people don't really think about TCP/IP that much. It's you know, what we want to do with a client is we want to set up the set up the sort of client that looks like looks like Android. It has apps on it. And you know those apps can be whatever features Ethereum enables. You could have an app, an app to be just a wallet, an app to be a financial derivatives exchange, an app to be a name coin sort of thing, decentralized Dropbox. And then people don't use those applications just like they would use plain old centralized Dropbox. And it just works without necessarily realizing that there's just free crypto magic on the back end. Is it fair to call Ethereum an altcoin, or is that a um, well, gross mischaracterization? Well, Ethereum is a platform. I mean, there is an alt, there is a coin called Ether inside of it, and you can build your own coins on top of it. Mm -hmm. Let's say we are a lot more generalized. Okay, so it's more like Ripple to XRP. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, um, so is there anybody that you've talked to here at Coin Summit that's really uh, really impressed you, or anything about this conference that's really been remarkable? And well, the thing with the Bitcoin scene is that there's never really any one, any one person. Mm -hmm. It's uh, always, I think there's always a group, group of people working on developing some of the technology around multi-sig wallets. That's one of the areas that I'm very ex excited about. I know Ryan, Ryan Singer's uh, going in there. You know, wallets to try and use this idea of multiple private keys to, add, to, to really make the whole Bitcoin ecosystem much more secure. Then there's all the, all the different Bitcoin 2.0 projects. The guys I had a, a panel with, like David Johnston and Des. Mm -hmm. A, a Snyder from Next. There's there are definitely a lot of aspects to the ecosystem. They're all sort of interesting in their own way. Very cool. Well, thank you, Vitalik. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate talking to you.